You know, Tara, it's amazing how many fans think Arkansas is going to turn into an all-out passing team under Chad Morris, probably because of all this hammer-down, full-tilt boogie stuff. Actually, Morris calls his offense a power spread for a reason. At SMU last year, he directed an offense that put up more rushing numbers with more touchdowns and a better run-pass balance than Arkansas under Brett Bielema. The running backs will actually be a bigger part of the offense this season, with more of them playing because of the two-back set. David Williams, Arkansas's leading rusher in 2017, is gone, but Deverell Whaley, Chase Hayden, and T.J. Hammonds are back. Those three accounted for over 1,200 yards rushing last year. They will be joined by Malik Williams, a four-star running back out of Florida, who redshirted a year ago, and he looked very good in the Razorback spring game. Arriving on campus next week is JUCO transfer Rakeem Boyd. After spending a year at Texas A&M, Boyd piled up over 1,200 yards rushing with 14 touchdowns at Independence Kansas Community College last fall. Morris says in his system there will be more than enough football for all of those guys. But what about run blocking? Well, the wider splits taken by offensive linemen in Morris's offense supposedly will open up better running lanes, and there was some evidence of that this past spring. But Tara, it is that offensive line that Razorback fans are most skeptical of. Those guys will need to be much improved if the running backs are going to do damage to opposing SEC defenses this season.